The appetizers and the main course just love them, so we just need a great dessert. And, and this is Christophe. Christophe, uh, nice to meet you. Bonjour. He's our pastry chef for he's been here for many years, so he knows the place uh, yeah. and the champagne very well. Good, amazing. So what are we going to be doing with these beautiful ingredients? I mean, what have we got? So this preparation, what we're doing, it is just the liquor that we're going to be cooking the rhubarb in. Christoph starts by placing local strawberries and powdered sugar in a bowl with Tahitian vanilla bean that has been split through the middle and seeded. Also going in is a whole cinnamon, garden fresh lemon of verbena, mint leaf, lime and lemon. One cup of water is added before covering it in plastic wrap. That's going to go to Bain-Marie, a water bath, for about 30 minutes to render all those juices. Once that has been there for 30 minutes and it has been strained, we need to strain it through a, a cheesecloth. We end up with this beautiful red, mm, like a strawberry consomme. Yeah. Strawberries, the citrus, the lemon verbena, the mint, the vanilla. I love that. So this is just the cooking liquor for the rhubarb. So this is, is hot. So what do we need to do next with the rhubarb? We need to prep the rhubarb. OK. Again, uh, depending on the rhubarb you get, most of the time in the shop, you're going to get very thick, mm. uh, big pieces of rhubarb. Then you're gonna have, you might have to, to peel them. Here it's very tender. Nice and soft, nice and tender, very fresh. Looks good. If you have to peel them, you just take the skin out. Right, uh, with like the this. knife. Yeah, with the knife. Now, what I'm going to do, because they're nice and tender, I'm just going to cut them uh, right. into, into, the, into the bowl. We're going to bring this beautiful strawberry consomme to a very gentle boil. We're going to throw in the rhubarb. Let it come to a boil one more time, and the minute it starts to boil, we need to take it away from the heat and then leave the rhubarb to cool. Yeah, just soften That's into right. the liquid. And slowly, slowly, as you keep it overnight, it's even better to keep it one night, so it will really take the color <clears throat> and the flavor. Great. So it's even better a day after. I'm gonna put this to one side because this one is actually the you prepared yesterday. You did yeah. Very thin slice of Granny Smith apple, and that has been lightly poached in exactly the same jus, consomme, yeah. syrup, that we poached the rhubarb in. Christophe is a chemise, as they, as, as they say in French, like a shirt, a thin lining of the uh, poached apple in the mold. Then he's placing or pieces of the delicious poached rhubarb. Some strawberries. Christophe has added three leaves of gelatin and he's put some of that, the, the jelly, between each layers. And that's going to help it set up, but set very lightly. So we're going to leave that to chill in the refrigerator. I'm sure you have one ready, no? Je crois qu'il a un qui a fait, non? Qui a fait? J'imagine, oui. Okay. So again, it's something you can do in advance, and then last minute you just have to put the yeah. little uh, square on the plate and finish with a little Great. ice cream or sorbet or anything. Awesome. So, uh, Michael explained to us a little bit about mm. the speculos. So, speculos is a very uh, famous biscuit yeah. uh, coming from Belgium, obviously, and it's made with uh, cassonade sugar, uh, butter, and flour. Yeah. So, that's the cassonade and also a speculos Pardon. spice, we call it this. It's a mix of different spices, it's a bit. Is that over. a secret too? Exactly. Okay. So, it's this cardamom inside, cinnamon. Looks great. So, what is next? On a fait un sucre, c'est une de sucre. So Christophe has made a sort of a, a crunchy sugar cage, which is made with glucose, sugar, which is boiled together. So caramel. caramel. Brown, just like brown caramel, then we just put it on the tray, let it cool down on rock hard. Okay. Then we just blitz it into a powder, fine into powder. And then from this, you can do any shape you like. This is okay. a little trick we do here at the restaurant, or for home, I, I suggest. You just do the, the little fruit and the biscuit. You know. That's good. This okay. On a confectionné une sauce rhubarb. Une sauce rhubarb. A boiled syrup with rhubarb. The rhubarb's cooked. It's blended, and with a little bit of lemon juice, just to give it some brightness. A strawberry mousse. Wow. And maybe at home you could substitute the strawberry mousse for some whipped cream, maybe. Exactly. Yeah. yeah? Mm. Or some whipped cream with some fresh 
chop the strawberries in. Yeah. It would be a little bit yeah. easier. You know, as long as you respect the flavors. Some chocolate, the decoration of chocolate. He knows his piping skills, doesn't he? Yeah? I think he's done that before. He's been to Belgium to, to learn. Oh, the really? OK, OK, OK. <laughs> You know what I think today? There's great chocolate throughout throughout the uh, throughout the world, but of course the Belgium and the Swiss, and the French. So a little bit more coolie, the the rhubarb coolie. Christoph, that looks beautiful. Looks Red good. Color, pinkish, great. fresh, it's fresh. Green. So a, a rhubarb sorbet, and again, obviously this is a delicious rhub, uh, rhubarb sorbet that Christoph has has made with rhubarb syrup, a bit of lemon juice, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, turbine in the, the ice cream ice sorbet machine. machine. Yep. However, you know, I mean, you could also replace it with a delicious store bought. You know, you can find good quality yeah, ice cream. Vanilla ice cream, even with strawberries. Strawberry in sorbet in the, would be good. Yeah. Excellent. Well, that, that's beautiful. Spoon for Merci. you. Merci. Mm, so, where do I start? Tu commence avec quoi? Okay, so I'm going to break this beautiful dessert. Okay. Wow, it's crunch. Can you hear that crunch there? Delicious. Wow. Take a little bit of the sorbet. Mmm. 